final set of Pokemon cards to conclude the Sword and Shield era is officially here, and we're going out with a bang. Oh! I don't know what to think anymore. What is Pokemon doing right now? Are they allowed to do this? Can this actually be this good? Oh my god, they put them in this. I thought these were only going to be in the Japanese one. Oh my god, bro! I don't know if I can handle this anymore, dude. This is a little too much. This is Crown Zenith, and we're getting an early look at the final set of Pokemon cards from the Sword and Shield era. The set is so new that the official list of cards hasn't even been posted yet. One thing that I do know is that the Pikachu from the exclusive $400 Precious Collection can actually be pulled in the English set. We're going to be attempting to pull that card along with all the other amazing artworks in this set. All right, what you're looking at right here is an Elite Trainer box of Crown Zenith, and I've literally never opened up one of these before. I've never seen anybody open up one before, but here it is. I'm going to show you guys every angle of this thing i i know there's exclusive promo cards in this box as well so it's gonna be insane let's crack it open i'm gonna be opening up 10 of these but i also have a few more left that i want to give away to two subscribers here on the channel so make sure you enter the giveaway by number one smashing the like button number two make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on and then number three down below in the comment section let me know what you think of this set time to see exactly what you get with crown zenith i'm so excited for this this is the way that we're ending the Sword and Shield era. And here we go. We're going to just start off with the player's guide because I haven't seen any of the cards in the set. All right, so on the first page, welcome to the Pokemon TCG Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box. We're going to be able to go through here and actually see all the different cards that you could pull in this set for the first time. So we have our commons and stuff, but we really want to get to those secret rares, ultra rares, all that good stuff. There are some signed cards that we're going to be able to find in this set, which is going to be pretty cool. And there it is. This is the Pikachu. And it's, you can see it right there. It has an S there. That's a secret rare Pikachu and then these are the Galarian gallery cards as well and you can go through this whole look, 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 look at all these there's so many we go through this Galarian gallery um, cards and then we get to the gold cards back here as well all right we're gonna move into this box and I know there's a promo card in here because it's a hol I guess a holiday set or a special set that's when you normally get them but let's get a sneak peek Woo, there's a lot of stuff okay where do we even begin oh I want to see what the sleeves look like okay so I'm gonna see the sleeves for the first time here Ooh, okay, we got Lucario on this. I love how they got the gold on these as well on the back there. And then, boom, we got Lucario, like, outlined in gold. And here's the code card. Try using this when the set actually releases. It won't work yet. It officially releases on January 20th. Um, but let's see what we got here. Energies, I ain't even going to look at these. We got energies. We've seen energies a million times. But here we go. I think we're going to... Wait, maybe we'll do these first, and then we'll do the promo card. Okay, nice. We have the dividers. Very cool. We got the Lucario on there as well. Like, the black and gold. And then... The final item in here, besides the packs, obviously, it's going to be our promo card. So let's reveal this right now. Ready? Here we go. Oh, dude, it's the Lucario V-Star. Okay, so we actually did see this in the Japanese set, but when you get it as a promo card in the Leech Trainer box, dude, that thing is sick. Up close, Lucario shot right there. All right, and we're going to see our booster packs for the first time. Ooh, look at the back. It looks a little different on the back. Very cool. All right, let's flip it over. We got that green little tab there. And it's Zacian and Zamazena to represent Crown Zenith, the final set in the Sword and Shield era. And that's the perfect way to start it. I mean, to end it, because that's how we started it. And since it's a special set, we actually get 10 packs in every single Elite Trainer box. Sounds like a good deal to me. So with that out of the way, let's open our first booster pack of Crown Zenith. Here we go. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know what the pull rates are. I don't know if you're guaranteed anything. I don't know anything about this. I don't even know what the code cards look like. They're the new ones. We got the black border on this one, but I don't know if that actually means anything. I'm going to do four from the back because that's what we've been doing on Sword and Shield. And I think that's correct. Start off with our energy. Crushing Hammer. It says there's 159 cards in this set, but there's definitely going to be a lot more because of secret rares. Let's see if we can start off with some absolute fire. Scyther, Pokeball. Mill Tank from the Galarian Gallery, starting off with a big hit, and into a bay, and it's side. Oh, dude, it's the side card. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, my God, we got a double banger to start off. Dude, these side I love how it's just like a unique signature, too. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I don't know if we're guaranteed to have um, hollows in every pack as a minimum on this stuff. I, I don't really know what to expect at all, um, but we're going to find out. Lost Vacuum. Friends of Sinnoh, we got Oddish Seals in the set, Potion. Moving into a Kyogre, so we do have reverses. And, okay, that's not Hollow, so that just answered my question. You are not guaranteed to get Hollows as a minimum in the set. Now, the big question today is, what exactly are the points going to be like? 
How are these cards going to look up close? And can we get that Pikachu card that you literally had to spend like $400 to buy a precious collection box, Japanese version, to actually get that thing, which was crazy. Oh, we got Gloom in here. That's a, that's, that's a cool Gloom. Um, but can we pull it today? I don't know how tough that card's going to be. Riolu, Wulu, and a non hollow Striking out on our uh, second and third booster pack. Moving on to our next one here. Let's see what we can do. The quality on the packs is really nice right now. The quality on the cards seems to be really nice as well. Uh, we got Shaman. Let's see what we can get out of here. Meowth. Whalmer. Come on. Oh, we got a Radiant Charbug. Nice. And then a non hollow again. Now, you guys got to let me know if you think you're going to be getting this set when it releases. Um, I actually... I. I I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to expect right now. Can we get some secret rares? Can we get, like, I don't know. It's weird because sometimes special, these special sets have different pull rates than normal sets. A lot of times they do. Oh, okay. We got another one. And can we follow it up? No, we can't. Dude, that's kind of crazy. All right. Next booster pack. So the other thing that you guys might know, you might not know, is that this is probably the last set where we're going to have yellow borders. This is the final set of this generation of this like era of Pokemon cards where we have the yellow borders. It's been yellow borders in English forever since the original 1999 cards. And we got a side card. This time has the reverse version. We have the hollow version. And then we got it. Oh no, dude, it's upside down. What's with the quality on these? The Regigigas V-Star, first V-Star hit. It looks really good on the back, but interesting. It was, a, it was upside down. I don't know. Are other cards going to be upside down now? All right. Three more packs from our first Elite Trainer box. So far, we got one V-Star. We got two cards from the uh, Galarian Gallery. And then we got a, like a hollow. And I think that's pretty much it so far. Digging Duo. Mime's back. Sunkern. Coughing. We got an Oddish. Oh, Radiant Charizard. Radiant Charizard. The first shiny Charizard pull from Crown Zenith. And into a dump. Whoa. So many... So many cards are not hollows in the bag. All right, two more. Now, the hits are, they're piling up. I, I think they're piling up. Two shinies, a V-Star, um, a couple of Galarian Gallery cards, the hollow card. You get the promo card. Let's see what else we can get, though. We got two more packs. Yanma, Bidoof, Potion. We got into, oh, dude, it's this card. It's this card, the Paris and the Zamazenta hollow back there. Dude, the Paris is from the actual full artwork. In the Japanese version, you could only get these cards in one pack together, which was the, one of the craziest packs I've ever opened. So a lot of Galarian Gallery cards. I think that's the lowest tier of Galarian Gallery. We haven't seen any with texture. We haven't seen any, like, bigger pulls on that end. So let's see if we can end it with one more. But realistically, I have a lot of pulls on this first ETB. We got Cherubi. Ah, another one. Dude, there's so many. I feel like I'm getting these one in every two packs right now. Like, literally one in every two or three. And follow it up. Oh, the Mew's in here? The Mew is in here from Fusion Strike. Okay. That's interesting. All right, let's get going on our second Elite Trainer box here. I'm really curious to see if we have the same pull rates on the second Elite Trainer box as the first one or, like, how this is going to go exactly. Let's let's see what we can do. Snorunt, Larvesta, Tangela, Baltoy. Hey, we got another side card. Okay. It looks so cool. Like, it's completely different and unique signatures. And that's weird because on the first pack of the first Elite Trainer box, we also got a signed card. Okay. I don't know how many signed cards are in this set. I feel like there's like five or six maybe. But let's get going here and see if we can get a secret rare. Now, you know, we also want to find those really cool gold cards. Those are probably going to be tough to pull though. The last All right. Let's keep it rolling here. Crown Zenith getting opened up today. 100 packs in total, actually, is what it's going to be here because I got 10 Elite Trainer boxes. Remember, I'm giving a couple away, so make sure you enter the giveaway. We got Shinx, Corefish. Ooh, the Dunsparce. Nice. I want to say um, the Trainer Gallery, but it's the Galarian Gallery on these and the Luxray. But, yeah, let, let's keep track here and see because if there's the same amount of Galarian Gallery cards in here, we should have four in this Elite Trainer box if it's the same amount. Four. And I don't know if we can get, like, the higher rarity ones. Hopefully. Got a Meowth, Digging Duo, and a non -hop. Yeah, it's interesting to see, like, the pull rates on this stuff. The fact that there is a gallery in here means that the pull rates automatically are going to be better than, you know, the, the earlier Sword and Shield sets. Because you get a shot in the reverse slot, which we're getting so many in the reverse slot. Oh! Oh, dude! Oh, that's, a, that's crazy! Oh, my God, dude! That's fire! That's actually ice! Oh, my God! Wow! Okay! We just pulled something insane from the Galarian Gallery, the Galatian Vista. Oh, dude, no, no way. 
Rota V Star right behind it. What a pack. Oh my god. Well, that's definitely the best pool so far today. What do you guys think? That's probably one of the best cards in the set. And that's just in the Galarian Gallery. That's not even in the main part of the set. That's just like a bonus. The bonus was better than the actual, like, main series card of the set. Whalmer. Ooh. Okay, we got the Psychic Energy. And right it's Oh, dude, let's go! We got the EVV. Oh, no way. That's so sick to go with the Glaceon. All right. So definitely different cards that we're seeing compared to the Japanese version of the set, which we opened up about a month ago or so. It's definitely got different cards. I mean, the sign cards, the EV, stuff like that. And, of course, the Pikachu from the Precious Collection box is kind of sick. I mean, I hope we can pull it. Scizor. I feel like we got completely different pull rates on this box now that I'm looking at it. Uh, well, I mean, we got still got three more packs, but there's way less pulls. But we do have the really big pull of the Glaceon. Still got three more, though. So anything can happen on these three. Shinx, Larvesta. I oh, my God, bro. What is this box? What is this box? How is they do How are they put two of these in the same box? Oh, my God. What? I think they legitimately busted the pull rates on this thing. Like, I don't know if this should even be legal. How are you able to get that? Both of those in one box. There's only, remember, there's only 10 packs in a box. How are you able to do that in one box? Okay. Um, well, this one's way better than the first one. And we're not done. And it's Zacheon V-Star. Oh, my God. They completely just changed this thing up. I was expecting something completely different from this box. And they completely got, like, completely changed it up compared to the first one. Now we don't know what to expect anymore. Corfish. Oh, these are these are uh, off center too. These are really getting close to miscut. They're definitely off center. They're not miscut. Oh my god! And the Riolu, and a side card behind it. <laughs> what is happening? All we can do is move on to Elite Trainer Box number three at this point. I mean, uh, let's just keep going and see what happens at this point. The first box was really cool because we had so many Galarian Gallery cards, but they were the lower rarity ones. The second box was insane. I didn't even know that was possible. And let's see, we got a Zara V. Let's see what happens on the third box. But if you're telling me you could open an Elite Trainer box and get those two crazy Galarian cards in one box, plus all the other stuff, I think this set's going to definitely be worth opening up. Those were like two crazy cards to get in one box. Corfish, non hollow. <laughs> I'm, just, cause it's, I'm as confused as you guys are as what you can expect from this thing. Box number three, hopefully, is going to be uh, telling us a little bit more about what we can expect. Maybe Bidoo, Potion, Potion, into a Leafeon V. Nice. So now we got two regular V cards so far. It's just completely changing every time we open up one of these. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Um, is this going to be like the V box? Let's see. Baltoy, Energy Retrieval. Oh, it's not, dude. Still getting more of these things. What? Oh, no, it didn't. It has texture on. Oh, my God. They put them in this. I thought these were only going to be in the Japanese one. No way. This is actually a pack. This is actually real life right now. Like, they actually made this set, and they put all these cards in here. What? I didn't think I would ever see energy cards with the texture, and you could see the water energies in the background. And then a freaking Hoopa. And that energy is not even a secret rare. I don't even know what's happening anymore. It's not even a secret rare or anything, but it does have the texture. Like, I don't understand, but I'm very happy with it. I'm very cool with it. Every box is just completely different right now. What is... Oh, we got the barrel. And we got the sign Leon. Look at that. Yo, that's a good signature right there. What have they done with the pull rates and the cards? What have they done right now? I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, my God. Can we get two... Of those, like, big hitter Galarian cards again in one of these boxes. Double. Each box has been so different in its own way, I literally don't know what to expect anymore. Oh, man. Okay. Make sure you guys bookmark this video and come back to it when the set officially releases so you can use these code cards. Because there's going to be a lot of code cards in here. Cricket Tot. We got Riolu. I can't handle this anymore, dude. What? How are they? Oh, with the mute. How are they throwing this stuff in? How are they throwing this stuff in? They're just throwing these in right now. I almost want to say that the pull rates are actually as good, if not better, than the Japanese version. 
And the Japanese version had such good pull rate. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be done. I'm going to be done if there's another one in here. If there's another one of these Galarian Gallery, like, big hitter cards, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because they're literally altered artworks, basically. And they just throw them in here like they're nothing. They just throw them in here. Oh, man. Gloom, not hollow. Like, so far, we got four of these full art cards from this Galarian Gallery. And it's just like they keep, we just keep pulling them. If there's, if there's three, I, I'm not even going to be able to handle this anymore. I genuinely am not going to be able to handle this. Whalmer, Pokeball, Corefish, Luxray, non hollow. I still don't understand these pull rates at all. This is the last pack on our third Elite Trainer box. Let's just get it, I guess. Let's see what happens. Fire Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Chatot, Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Bidoof, Coughing, but Barrel's back into the Mew V. ETB number four. Okay, I still am trying to grasp here what's what the actual pull rates are. What, and it's like what, you try to figure out like what you can possibly expect to pull from Elite Trainer Box. You buy the Elite Trainer Box, you want to kind of get an idea. And right now, I got no idea. It's just crazy. It's just like all over the place right now. I don't know what to expect at all. But I have noticed that it seems like you get between eight and ten pulls per Elite Trainer Box. But like they can be really, really crazy in the same box. If this is how we're ending Sword and Shield era, I really don't know what we're going to be able to expect from Scarlet and Violet. Are they going to just make it even crazier at that point? Or are they going to just pull back and say, ah, we got to chill out a little bit. We got to chill out on the pulls. Or do they just keep it coming? I don't know. If we could get more of this, if we get more of the, the higher rarity Galarian cards in these packs from one box, I, I don't know because we already have so many. But they're doing it again. We got another upside down card, but it's the Rayquaza VMAX now. All right, so you can pull Rayquaza out of here. That's interesting, and they still got some VMAXs thrown in. Uh, so just so you guys know, Crown Zenith is going to be around for a while. They're going to be slowly releasing products for like, I think, six to eight months. It's going to be the longest release of one set ever. And I think that's because it's the last set. Chorus is Experiment. Another one of these full art Galarian Gallery cards. And into the Charizard V. The Charizard V has made a return, ladies and gentlemen. You saw it here first. A lot of pulls right now. I think we got like five already, if you count the Entei, on an, our fourth box. And we already got another one of those Galarian cards. I don't think I can handle this many Elite Charm boxes, to be honest with you guys. Pochiana into the signed Leon. Well, if you like getting pulls, this keeps up with the theme of the last like five sets or so that Pokemon has done. Brilliant Stars, Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, um, all these sets where they have trainer galleries. You can kind of depend on, I mean, you can bet on getting a lot of pulls now. Because when they put that gallery set in there, whatever you want to call it, it just pretty much doubles up your pulls. And not only does it double them up, it gives you some crazy ones. Because honestly, most of my favorite pulls are going to be from those galleries that they have in these sets. A signed card again, this time reverse. All right, continuing now. Two more packs on our fourth Elite Trainer box. I, I, I don't know. I still don't know. I'm still trying to get a feel for this thing. Energy Retrieval. We got Chatot, Chatot, not hot. All right. The final pack on our fourth Elite Trainer box. Can we end it with another one of these Galarian Gallery big hits? This will be three boxes in a row. If we can get one more that has at least two. We got Cherubi, Leon Reverse, and a Mew V. All right. And we are on to box number five. Can we continue with this pure insanity? I don't know. I mean, first box was, you know, the first box was crazy. But then the second box was insane. So I don't know what to expect now. Wooloo. Ooh, the Cricket Tone. And we got the Nessa signed card now. We're getting all these signed cards. We don't got to ask them for the signature. We just get them in the packs now. That's perfect. All right. I think people are going to be collecting all the signed cards. I think that would be a cool set to have. All the signed cards, hollow signed cards. I need to get them in reverse too, but I want the hollow version of them. Baltoy, Scizor. Now, is this going to be the crazy box here? Is this going to be the wild box? It might be. We're just going to have to find out. It would be cool if this was the craziest one, though. Just saying. It would be cool. We got... Oh, no! Dude, I don't know if I can handle this anymore. Ah! No, no, no. This this is too good now. I'm sorry. I can't handle this. I got to end it here. Make sure you guys come back for more Crown Zenith. That's going to do it, though. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.